Hey, I want to thank my friends over at Adobe for sponsoring this video and giving me the chance to show you all of the cool latest features that Adobe Express has brought to the market. So we all know, whether it's for a personal brand or for business, that short form videos are the number one thing that people want to see, the number one thing that algorithms want, and also the hardest type of content to create. That's where Adobe Express comes in. You know Adobe Express makes it really, really easy for non-creatives like myself and is a really compelling tool for creatives as well to easily make any type of image or video for social media. Recently, Adobe Express has upped their game because now you can do more with short form video creation that I'm going to show you here. So hopefully you've been on Adobe Express before, but if you haven't, this is the general dashboard. They have all these shortcuts here. And one of the new ones they have that they just introduced is the Clip Maker. So we're going to go into the Clip Maker and we are going to upload a video. So I've added a video here. This video is actually an interview that I did for my Your Digital Marketing Coach podcast with my friend Yash Shaval over at uh, Saral. And it is a 33 minute MP4. We are gonna add the captions and then we are gonna click this button and you'll see what happens. It takes about a minute or two. It is a long video. We need to upload it and then we need to generate the clips. But let's see what magic Adobe Express is gonna work on this video. All right, so now as you can see, we have 10 clips to review from this 30 minute video. Now at the very bottom here, the number of clips generated from your source video depends on several factors, including the number of key moments highlighted in your video transcript. So in other words, your mileage might vary, but for each one of these, it has a little, uh, how many seconds? If I wanna thumb up or thumb down the title description to give the AI some feedback and start with the very top here, uh, democratizing tools. So uh, it appears right here and I can play it. Because technically speaking, and you'll notice that we immediately have captions here. And there are several preset styles that Adobe Express gives us. So I sort of like this stripe one. So I'm gonna make the change. He is at that cost and still save see, money. We have right? the new the time uh, the same type. Thing. I can also go in here if there's any issues with the captions, they're pretty good to be honest with you right off the start. But if I wanted to change any caption text, I have full control to do that here. So I forgot to mention. For all the captions, we can customize these colors. Adobe Express gives you creative freedom, needless to say. So I could download as is, but because this is Adobe Express, why not take advantage of the other awesome features that I wanna show you that we can add to add value to this video. So we are now going to open in editor. And when we open an editor, basically it is creating 10 different files for us to work on. So this was the while file we were working on before. I'm gonna double click in it. And then when I click edit timeline, we're gonna be able to see all of the editing features that Adobe Express gives us. So the first thing I wanna do here is I wanna move the captions up to the middle. And let's play around with the audio a little bit. We're gonna go into the media, the audio, and I wanna add some sound effects. Um, you know, background music added to interview. Uh, you know, some people like it, some don't, but it does add another dimension and it is really, really easy to do here in Adobe Express. So I am just going to add this one. And obviously with Adobe Express and the Creative Cloud membership, you get all these royalty-free audio and video and all these different pieces you can use. So let's give it a listen. Yeah. Now, always you want to put it down. I find that 3% is the sweet spot. So let, let's listen to the balance. So it sounds like background music. At that cost and still save money, right? Save the time and get the same thing done. So we got a nice little background music. Let's fade it in and out. I can, two seconds is a really good standard there. So we have a lot of controls here. Another thing that Adobe Express added um, is the ability now to enhance the speech. So this will help remove noise and echo from voice recordings. Just make it sound that much more professional. I was like there has to be and the brands that i was working with even with the now it sounds much better in fact we, i want to turn up the volume a little bit on the audio more consulted with a few other e-commerce and they were all smaller brands they weren't perfect so we already have a really good video but there's more that we can do here so let's go into the media section and i just want to find a little icon that says new let's say this was a new post that we were publishing so i'm going to go in here uh, view all um yeah, this looks good. Uh, I'm just going to click it in there. We're going to add it up here. So let's say, you know, we wanted people to know, hey, this is brand new. Now I want to put it in an area so it doesn't sort of cover the face there. You know, that's good enough. And I want to limit it to just the first three seconds or so. So really, really easy peasy to do here. We'll do the first four seconds. That sounds good. And well, because it's Adobe Express, let's add a little animation to it. I personally like the bungee. Um, and you know what, this might have more effect if I add it to the bottom there. So we can do a little preview. Because technically speaking. Okay. Now I'm going to go back to the very beginning. Because 
technically speaking, you could have a little new thing that pops up there and then it just saves money. Four seconds, right? Right? Save the, cool. time. the other thing that I want to add is generative AI B roll. So, this is another new feature that they added. Uh, if you have graphics from Illustrator or Photoshop, you can animate those as well now, but you can also just do full on generative AI video creation. And it's perfect for B-roll for this type of podcast. I'm gonna go back to the home page here. Uh, we still have that project down here and I am going to go into generate with AI and we're gonna generate video. And this is the new feature here. Yep, we need to exit the clip maker. That's all cool. Um, I wanna resize it to begin with. And obviously we can automatically resize any of these uh, any way we want, but we're gonna start with the 16.9 uh, feature here. Let me get rid of that. Generative AI on the side here. We're gonna go to the video and we are going to generate a video. With B-roll, uh, there's a lot of different things we could do, but let's say we wanna show um, a, a picture of Neil Schaefer drumming in his band. I'm just gonna keep it real simple. And we could give it a starting image, uh, I'm not even going to do that. There's also other things we can do here. I'm just going to keep it real simple and let's see what it comes up with. Now, obviously it may not be perfect uh, representation of Neil Schaefer, but here's what we got. Let me lower this. And when we play this, I mean, that's pretty cool, right? Uh, so what we're going to do now is we have now uh, saved. I could regenerate, go back and forth, but you know, this is good enough for what I want to do here is I am just going to download this as a separate video. So now it's time to go back to the generative AI B-roll that I created, and we are now going to add it uh, to a frame here in this short form video. Uh, I'm going to upload the file. All right, I have now uploaded the file and it appears right here. What I want to do is I want to move this around. Right now it's appearing as five seconds. I want to move this to another part of the video. So obviously we would be strategically doing this, understanding where this B-roll fits. Uh, within you know what what exact second during the video we want to show up, but just for demo purposes, I want to show you what's possible. So I've added it here. I'm going to expand it so it covers the full screen, and you'll see what it looks like now. And it's five seconds, which is a pretty decent length. So now we'll play it back with the uh, B-roll that I just generated with generative AI of me drumming. You can be like, I just have a hundred dollar a day budget, give me what you can, right? So yeah. I was like, I want to do something that really changes it. That's democratizes the space so that everyone has access to it, just like everyone can run. And there you have it. I mean, Adobe Express is just so incredibly easy to use for non-creatives like myself. And if you are a creative, is part of the whole Adobe ecosystem, you can take your Photoshop work, your Illustrator work, bring it into Adobe Express and make it even more differentiated, more high level, more special. Uh, you know, the Creative Cloud membership that Adobe offers includes Adobe Express, as well as all these other tools. Needless to say, Highly recommended, and I can't wait to see what you will create with Adobe Express.